about 50% of line of duty deaths are due to cardiovascular events. And it's not just the disease and disability. Cardiovascular disease is causing firefighters to retire early or shortening retirements. So cardiovascular disease is one of the biggest issues we can go after if we want to make sure that firefighters are healthy and safe throughout their careers and retirement. I'm the cardiac poster child of the American Fire Service. I'm alive today because of a firefighter physical. I had a condition that I didn't know was going on, and that condition would have affected me and may have killed me and certainly could have affected my crews and my community. That evaluation made a huge difference in my life, and without that, I'm not here. It's critical that you take the time and you as a leader help your departments get those firefighter physicals to make a difference in the crews that we have that are protecting our communities across America. We do know that fire departments that implement wellness programs actually have healthier firefighters. We did a study where we compared 10 departments that had implemented the Wellness Fitness Initiative with 10 that hadn't, and they saw a difference in firefighter health. We saw a difference at the crew level and the individual level. The departments that implemented wellness programs had fewer obese firefighters, lower rates of hypertension, higher rates of fitness. So if departments implement programs, they do work. We, we often are looking for what is that silver bullet that can take care of all of the, the issues that we face. Uh, fitness is that is the closest thing that we have. If we can impress on our firefighters, whether they're rookies or veterans, that you can take control of your own health, and one of the easiest ways to do that is through improving your fitness. It has an impact on all sorts of different risks that we face in the fire ground, whether it's cardiovascular, whether it's cancer, whether it's mental health, or whether it's just being more effective on the fire ground. It helps you from a health perspective, it helps from a safety perspective, and importantly, it helps from a performance perspective. You will be a better firefighter if you're a healthier firefighter. Leadership plays a critical role in preventing cardiovascular disease. Every fire officer who is committed to everyone goes home, every chief officer who says that health and safety is his or her top priority must commit to decreasing cardiovascular events in the fire service because they are killing more firefighters than any other cause. When firefighters see their chief investing in their own health and wellness, their chief's own health and wellness, they themselves as firefighters begin to focus on their own health and wellness. You have to have a chief who's very supportive of the idea of a wellness program and a champion in the department who's willing to implement and work towards those goals. You have to have a leader out front moving that program forward. And it's not might not just be one, it might be a whole group. Chiefs out there, you have an obligation to your firefighters and to their families to keep them healthy and safe. Find your resources for a health and wellness program and make it happen. Firefighters, they're not trying to keep you off the units, they're trying to keep you healthy, happy, and safe. In the last 10 years, 500 of our fellow firefighters have died in the line of duty as a result of cardiac-related events. Honor their memory. Be heart healthy. Every great leader is committed to making sure that everyone goes home. But that's not only on the fire ground. Great leaders ensure that their firefighters are healthy enough to do the job they love. That means ensuring that they have proper medical evaluations and wellness and fitness programs. Cardiovascular Disease in the Fire Service, a video series brought to you by the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. Directed by Rob Maloney.